this. Sorry, I'm totally out of bell flowers. There's a big ruckus down in Fossil Valley. Men from the dragons were setting roadblocks in the valley. We'll get some in a few days, so come back again then. You have my sincerest apologies. I understand we are here to protect you as Asia, Akea, Akia, Asi, Asia. Anime. Asia. I just keep thinking of the Asia berries. <laughs> Which me and my friend were calling Aki berry. Oh no, she called them Aki berries. I thought they were Akai berries. And then my friend who um, just moved here from California informed us that they're Aussie berries. And I was like, that's probably right. And she's like, oh, it is right. And I was like, oh, okay, well, a lot better than Aki berries. I did not think that they were Aki berries. I thought they were Akai. Still bad, but it's not Aki. Blue is a badass. X the X scar is. Oh yeah. Those knights should be done with their work shortly. Well, that's all right. We can get my flowers from other places. I have a feeling he's gonna be a character. I'm just saying. Never mind that. I haven't seen Karsh around here lately. How is he doing? Well, he said he was going ghost hunting down south. Just a private, so I do not know for certain. But I heard a rumor that Lord Viper ordered him to go. A, a ghost? Now that is something I just hope it's not a sign of coming disaster. If you ever see him, give him my regards. We'll do that, and I'll be back too. Oh, hey. Hey, hey bro. 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 Oh, man. Hello. Hello. Can't move. I want. Okay. Huh? Who is that? You don't know who he is. Ha ha! You must be one of the tourists here to see the festival. That boy is your sweet. Yeah, oh yeah, that's Glenn. That was it. <laughs> that boy is your sweet Glenn, a member of the Asa Asai Dragon. <laughs> that's not how you pronounce it. <laughs> Asai, Asai, Asa, Akasia, 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 Dragoons. Pretty popular with the people here. But it really surprises me to see that naughty little boy grown so mature. Makes me feel my age. Bye. I love how he was like, oh yeah, it was Glenn. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Yo! Not actually frog, obviously. Frog time. God, you're slow! You're making me wait forever! Making a lovely lady like... Ah, so that's it. Uh-oh. I get it. This Sheila over here is, is your sweetie, eh? I'm right, ain't I? No need to be shy. It's not so bold as to break up lover's tenders moment. I understand. I'll wait until your little date's over. Well then, have a bloody good time. Interesting. Come on, Bojo Jojo! Where's Glenn? Go find Glenn. Oh, Jo Jojo! I'm here to polish your statue again. Yeah, polishing master fighters. You should talk about that. Yeah, he's definitely polishing his statue already. Right. <laughs> Alright, all squeaky clean. It's gotta be extra clean for the coming festivities. Have you folks come to see the Viper Festival? Termina is a peace is peaceful thanks to the watchful eye of our master Viper. Time's warm, time strict, Master Viper watches over us always. With that said, of course, the real Master Viper resides in his manor along with his us. What did you say? Cassia. Cassia. 
Cassia Dragon. If you'll allow me to brag a little bit, I was invited to the manor a while back. It is a magnificent place. If there is a heaven on earth, that would be it. The manor is beautiful and its design incorporates the surrounding terrain to its advantage, making it an impenetrable fortress. On top of that, there are powerful soldiers standing guard in front of the main gates that just can destroy any monster with just one blow. Well, I'm an upright citizen like myself might be invited to the manor's garden party, but not so much for you folks. The most you will get is a cold reception from the gate guards. Ho ho ho. Well, I mean, does the man polish and uh, a statue? All right, that's settled. We gotta sneak into Viper's Manor. We gotta find what's the us, us, whatever. What the dragoons are up to, right? And why that Karsh bloke was trying to capture ya. I've got some business there as well, so I'll go along with ya. How about it, Brono? Really? Yeah. Do I have to? Um, pretty much. You don't have to put her in the party. Okay. I mean, she is a main, main character. Uh, yeah, I just don't want to see her die. It's the obvious choice, right? According to Grandpa here, Viper Manor's a bloody big place, which also means it'll be easy to break into! There's gotta be more than one way if we don't plan this right of cost us our lives. Oh yeah, Bruno, I'll leave this in your hands, just in case. It's a teleporter. This is a really handy gadget that allows you to exchange party members from afar. The way you use it, ah, oh, forget it. Check it out for yourself. I hate explaining the details. So the teleporter lets you change your party members. Up until you get kids in the party, you can't change your party members. Oh, that's why you said not to tell her no. Oh, you can Oh, it's a butt bomb. Oh. Okay. Oh, you can say no there, but I, mean, I think before you go to the manor, I think it's happy. She's not an option for you. How do you sit in this chair? It's not comfy. It's very comfy. You must have broke it into your butt. <laughs> your chair is the one that's broken. My chair's fine. It, it screams for mercy every time you move an inch. I didn't know what he's talking about. I think he's like... It's boiled. He's like... Buy her a new chair, Gilded. I did buy her a new chair. Like, whenever like her chair breaks or my chair breaks, she's the one who gets a new chair. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh-huh, yeah. She always gets the new one. All the time. It's not my fault you broke the wheel off your chair. <laughs> then bedazzle it. I'll just buy my own new chair. You've done that already. How's this? Maybe a little more to the left. Just look around, flowers decorate the town and the festival comes. Don't you think it's romantic to have the whole town filled with flowers? No. It's our way of showing gratitude towards Master Viper. Master Viper tried to get me killed, man. I don't like him. Or kidnapped or captured or whatever the heck he was trying to do. I, I, I've decided I don't like Master Viper. That's all I'm saying. Me and Master Viper, we ain't cool, man. All right, you silly boy, that's your right, isn't it? It's he, he, my bad. So in this town, there is a choice that you'll make. Uh-huh. Um, between three different routes. Oh, okay. Train daily elements that you need to either make or break your advantage in battle, that's why it's so hard to choose. Okay. Well, you know, long time to see, how are you? Because when do you have a boyfriend? It's not fair to keep me out of the loop. It's it's nothing like that. He, he's my cousin. Isn't that right, Bruno?
Next stream is gonna be in a hammock? No. Why not? You're not right, Bruno. Oh, so she's your girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Well, if you still want to go on a date, that's cool with me. Oh, Lisa, stop that nonsense! Oops, before I forget, this is for you. Mom told me to say hi. Can I shop already? Wow, thank you. Thank your mom for me. So, miss, how can I help you today? Don't expect any special deals just because we're friends. Isn't that, um, one of, what's her faces? It just sounds like Yeller. Oh. Yeller's red. I know, but Bushwhacker sounds like her. Oh, because the Australian? Yeah. Who's green? You don't have a green person. Actually, I don't want to come to Tasha. Oh, I forgot about Dufoss. Dufoss. Emphasis on the F. Yeah. I don't know if I should. Oh, it's just boss. One that is AoE is this one. Yeah. I think I bought another one of those. your first uh, attack. Well, so this is that singer Nikki everyone's been talking about. My dear, he looks like a girl. When I was a young girl, it was a luxury for even a girl to have any makeup on. Nowadays, even the boys are becoming glamorous. As long as it's trendy, I might as well join in with the youngsters and show off my go-go dancing. Hiya, hiya, hiya. Okay. I've been fired from my job and I really strapped cash. But have you heard about this thing called Frozen Flame? You, you look at every, I'll, I'll tell you if it matters. Okay. I just make sure you're paying attention. I'm paying attention. What? You haven't heard? Oh, well, I'm going to keep it a secret, but I'll make an exception for you. The Frozen Flame is the treasure of treasures, the ultimate treasure in this world. It's rumored, rumored that the notorious thieves, radical dreamers, are also after it. That thing is mine. One day I'll get my hands on it, become the richest man in the universe. That's my Terminian dream, all right? One more toast to my bright future. All right? Cool, man. Cool. You do. 
You do you. This guy thinks that the frozen flame is some kind of jewel or something. I'd say things aren't that easy. It's probably a monster of some sort. Once you gaze at it, boom, you're well done. Like a steak on a barbecue. Well, you're free to dream, but daily work is always the best. Nothing beats hard work and dedication. That's right, man. Nothing beats hard work and dedication. I saw Miss Riddle visiting the shrines again. She made a darling couple with a childhood sweetheart, Dario. Such a pity that he died so young. They say beautiful women rarely find happiness. How about me? Do I look happy? Sure, you look happy. You mean I'm not... Oh, you know what? That was a trick question. It was. It was a trap, Claire. A trap. Girls are good at that. As, as a girl myself, I can ask, I can certainly tell you that girls are good at setting up traps. It's called a loaded question. Ever since Daria died, one of the chairs for the four dev devas of the dragoons is vacant. The viper is said to be looking for candidates, yet I can't foresee anyone who can match the caliber of the great knight Dario. If only I were a little younger. You don't look happy, though. Okay, I love this town and all of its people, whether they are residents or travelers. One more order of squid gut pasta. Or that's all you eat. Try some of the other dishes, will ya? Hee hee hee, the better tasting it is, the faster I eat it up. Jeez, right when we're in the middle of a good conversation. Okay. Hello, who are you? What? Is this that guy you're telling me about? Yeah, that's that's um that's not Mavis. What how do you pronounce his name? Kyle. My name is Kyle. I mean, a certain bet with the fortune teller by the bridge. If I can bring the item of proof from the manor within a week, I shall win. If I cannot, I shall lose, but... Ah, as there is a trick behind it, any mysterious magic, there is no such thing as an impregnable fortress in this world by coast and my coming victory. Hmm, so you have business at the manor as well. Interesting. Gambling is a lot more interesting with high stakes. What we need now is a seasoned sailor and a sturdy boat to cross the rough waters. If you can find one, leave the rest to me. I will guide you to Viper Manor. What will it be? Okay. Before you do this, you have to choose a guide to go to Viper Manor. There are three choices. Okay. Guile is one of them. Okay. Do you want Guile on your team? What are the other choices? Um. Okay, Guile's probably the best. Okay, but. Um, party member? But, um, there's Nikki, who you've heard about already, I think. Oh, yeah, that's right. The dude with the makeup. Yeah, yeah, the performer. He's based off of, like, a Japanese pop idol at the time. Um, and there's <gasps> Pierre. <gasps> who? Pierre. Okay. We haven't met Pierre yet. Now, um... They're all in this town. You have to choose a guy. This is like a decision, right? Yeah. Um, you can't get all three of them. You only get one of them. So, Guile is awesome, and he basically was originally supposed to be Magus, but then they didn't do it. So he's not Magus, but he's basically Magus. He's the closest you're gonna get to Magus. Gotcha. Um, he is a black element, so. Probably isn't the smartest thing to put him and Mojo both in the party. Hmm. But he is. Hmm. Basically. <laughs> I'll. Enigmatically. Enigmatically joins your party.
No, it starts with a J, right? Yeah. I always mess it up because you pronounce it as Giannis. Like, the original story for Guile was going to be that he was Magus, and that he was, like, looking for his sister. Ah. But then they decided to just drop that story. They his eyes are a little creepy, creepy Claire. Like, they fill out the mask a little too well. It's like... <laughs> giant gemstone eyes or something. Like, a bunch of the characters from this were in Radical Dreamers, and it tells kind of the same story. Like, Infiltrating Viper Manor was basically in Radical Dreamers. And in Radical Dreamers, the main party was <laughs> Surge, Kid, and basically Guile, but his name instead of being Guile was May Gill, so it's even closer to Mace. Nice. Once you find a boat, leave the rest to me, I shall guide you. I believe the fortune teller said the target for the bet is located in the manor's mess hall. Okay. I'm a little sad about Bagoon. Bagum. Bagum. I mean, you can use this one too, it's just mm -hmm. the both black elf. Get that. Yeah, the story picked up at some point? Yes. Okay. Bill really like this dragon all that. Well, there's a lot of like little towns and people to explore and everything. So like, I mean, you could move forward a lot faster. If you to talk to all these yeah, but you always tell me in an RPG you're supposed to talk to everybody. You don't have to if you don't want to. No, yeah, but what if I miss something important? I miss it. Yes. <sighs> Who might you be? Fortunes be good, fortunes be bad. Anything from reading your destiny to searching for the missing. Do you wish your fortune to be read? Yeah. Well, this is interesting. You're not dead or anything, are you? Has anybody called you back from the great beyond? You just might be the key to the destruction of this entire... Oh, look at me! She's reading your fortune. Okay. Way to tell it like it is, lady. Destruction of this entire planet. I can't say for sure, but fate seems to have a great task for you. Be careful now, boy. The future is something that only you can create yourself. No need to mind it too much. It says you will not find a boyfriend for a long time. Fortune telling is such a merciless thing. Wow. <laughs> How rude. Sure, you honest. How was it? Did you find the item? Ma'am, do not rush me so. The deadline is not yet upon us. I will be going now. Ho ho ho, birds. My victory is only a matter of time. The item in question is in the dining room of the manor, although you'll never reach it. Who would like a reading? No one. Come back any time you want a reading. That is all. This is every, every character. Hello there. Come and see for yourself. This is a prize of all prizes. A rare catch. A live mermaid. This is what you call a real treasure. Remember that, kids. Unfortunately, this one isn't for sale. She's my most valuable item. So what do you think? This isn't some stuffed animal or anything. She's really alive. Her pure, clear skin like it's made from crystal or gem-like eyes. She's the ultimate collector's item. Phew. Nature's creations are indeed great. Such a beautiful thing. Is this thing really alive? Hey, come on. Look over this way. Oh, how beautiful she is. Wow. Hey, you, you really think, you think this is really fun? How would you, how would you feel if you were trapped in a ta tank like that, being stared at every day, huh? Yikes, it's Korcha, run. Okay. Not you again. 
don't you go bothering my customers. This is no place for the likes of you. Just leave now. Sh shut up. What customers? You're selling a bunch of bull. Why didn't you keep the tank uncovered when I showed up? Hey, everybody. This shop is a bunch of baloney. Shut your mouth. Did you know such... Did you... Don't you say such things. Ridiculous things. Get back to your demi-human friends. Huh. I won't take that from a sleaze bag like you. Demi-human. Hey, you guys. You're not from around here, eh? Don't you wander around too much or you're gonna get burned. Just watch your back. Okay. I re he's not in terminal all the time. You wouldn't didn't mess the likes of him. I tell you, he's nothing but trouble. Okay. That's giant. A girl living in the shack near that shrine. Wow, Big Bro's got a great place to open shop. The spot's ideal for roadside merchants like us. Oops, no time to lose. I gotta hurry and set up myself. Please come back a little later. How do I... Like... Is there a way to rest in this place? Yeah. I don't know. How the six great dragons sealed the dark evil and restored peace to the land. The end. Mama, do dragons really exist? How big are they? Oh, silly. This is a fairy tale. The old people made it up. But there's dragon bones in the ruins <laughs> that we just came through. So, right. like, it, dragons can't. Oh, still exist. Okay. So they did ex Are you still playing with that boy? How many times have I told you to stay away from him? Besides, it's hocus pocus like that that's making Guldov so remote to us on the mainland. Where in the world is there such a thing as the dragon's tear? Sorry, Mama, but Quartz's stories are fun to listen to. The story he told last time about Master Viper's manner was so scary. No buts. Anything that boy says is a flat out lie. Oh, no way I belong to this family. Cough, cough. There, there. You're not going to get better if you don't listen to me. Now, if you promise me you won't play with Korcha anymore, I'll tell you the next story. Uh, uh-huh, I promise. So please tell me the next story. Yes, yes. What should I read you next? place to sleep guys mm. grandma these are travelers passing through my my so sorry my eyes have become really weak in my old age and I thought my grandson had come back Her grandson? Who's her grandson? My grandson was such a cute boy. He was really plump and cheerful and loved to make people laugh. Oh, okay. Well, I have his head in my bag. Oh, 
why the boy joined the circus to become a clown. First years, he wrote daily letters to me daily. He almost, he was always said how gratifying the work was, although it was very challenging. One day, his letters suddenly stopped coming. I haven't heard from him since. I hope he wasn't in an accident or something. I just pray that I might see his cheerful face once more before the heavens come claim my soul. Oh, I, I mean, I can show you his face. Without the flesh and the skin. I mean, skin is flesh. Sorry. Without the flesh and the, you know, kind of show you his face. It's all. I don't know. Try it. Even this old lady just like, here, look at this skull. It's your grandson. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why not, right? What is this creepy thing? I, I tried to show you his face before the heavens claim your soul. You Biatch. He always tells me stories about him, but we don't know where he is. If you ever meet him on your travels, please tell him Grandma is waiting for him. I believe his name was Skelly. Would you like to buy a Viper churro? I want a Viper churro. I want a churro. How much is it? Only a hundred gold each. Hmm, isn't that a bit much? Maybe next time. Oh, oh, come on! You don't have any body parts of your dead grandson laying around, do you? Alright. Good talk! Good talk, my dear old nature. Onward. Onward we go. I, I, I'm ready to. Oh, there. Seriously. <laughs> I think it's the one that says in a mother. I'm gonna chuck the controller at you. Yeah. He thinks that's the one that says in a mother. improvement over Chrono Trigger as far as music goes, like you have victory music, you have sleeping music, like the the evolution is nice. It's nice to see that oh what a oh, what? Why? Because it always puts you on my Xeno Gear save when you go to save. Oh, I try to remember that. But... I know, but by accident. I, I agree. I just thought about the fact. So there's one downside to uh, Janice here. Maybe, uh, uh, Guile. Yeah? He has a very different grid than everybody else. What does that mean? Most people's grid are like really thick in the low levels and they get thinner as you go up, right? Yeah. This is the opposite. So he has less slots at the low levels, but as you get to higher level, he gets more higher level slots than everybody else. Which makes him awesome lately. Like, Oh, he even flies. Yeah, but maybe. Yeah, I just noticed that when we were in the end. Oh. I, I, my problem is, is I bought elemental things for what's his face. Oh, you want to like take stuff off of the character? 
Paladin? Or yeah. Do you want to switch characters? I want to switch characters. You, you have to use Magus as a guide, or just a couple. For the initial interest, I believe he has to be a party. Before you go, though, did you ever go all the way to the end of that bridge or whatever where you saw the mermaid and everything? No. Oh, you can go there either. No. Okay. I feel like it's kind of boring for people, though. Why would this be boring? I don't know. I just feel like I want the story to, like, do something. Well, then keep moving. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you can temporarily switch your character to the save point or a world map with the teleporter to, like, swap out the teleporter. Master Go is presently away, but he will back, be back shortly. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, I think there's something underneath the staircase. He's the rich guy's house here. Okay. So, this is an interesting item. Um, it makes you get more money from fights. Okay. Which is cool. But, you can also disassemble it to get some, like, high tier for you crafting items. Like, you could get iron right now. Which would let you make better weapons and armor. And or you could keep it for, like, money and money. Right? I mean, that's what I would rather have. Yeah, for brings you here. There are only shrines here. You shouldn't disturb the resting peace place of the brave who fought valiantly. This is no place for outsiders to roam around. I don't mean to be harsh, but if you have no business here, leave now. Okay, well. Whatever. So she was out of flowers? This is unfortunate. Then let us pray without any flowers for today. Hmm. Everyone's business is my business, right? I am the god of this girl. You should have been like, put Glenn's over there. I didn't know Glenn was over here. Oh, he is. Is that a bellflower you have there? Yeah. Maybe he was trying to get one out. Mm -hmm. I remember I went looking for him so I could give it to him. Would you be so kind as to give up that flower to us? We need a bell flower for our prayer. Can I give it for free? Sure. For free? Are you sure? I thank you deeply. Please, let me offer you my gratitude as well. The souls that rest beneath this sword loved this flower in life. That is why we always bring some here when we pray here. Dart. Oh. Yeah, we heard about her. 
Dario, here is a bellflower that you used to love so much. No wonder. She's beautiful, so she's not happy. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say that, and then she said Dario, and I was like, oh, too soon. Too soon. Soon the flower seeds shall sprout grow leaves and bloom flowers everywhere. We shall age another year while you will remain the same in my memory. In memory. Sorry. Father. Brother. Oh. This is her father? I don't understand. The father-brother thing for her. It's such a mystery. The sword never rusts, even when left in the rain. It seems as if the souls of its masters live within. Do you not think so, Glenn? Maybe it's the Masa Mune. Yes. I have engraved in my memory the lives of my father and brother. Oh, okay. Who have wielded the sacred sword is Lanzer. The Masa Mune! I'm just kidding. I I'm Lanzer. Got it. Let's hope that is true. What do you mean by that, Miss Riddell? I cannot allow you, even you to. Do you not think that there is something odd about the Dragoon's blade? Daddy's face shows such anguish, and even Karsh was saying he was sent on a ghost hunt. Oh, her father is. Oh, Miss Riddell. Everyone has been acting oddly. Her father is Karsh. Ever since that beastly guest arrived at the manor. Glenn promised me to always keep the unclouded truth in sight. Do not be swayed by the masses. The splendor of the Einlanzer must not be tarnished. As you wish. What are we like, the Princess Bride here? <laughs> As you wish. Yeah, I'm chuckling on the inside too, man. Oh, forgive me. I just found it a little awkward to hear you say such words. Da -da 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 -da. Miss Riddell. The chill wind has risen. Shall we return to the manor? Yes, of course. Um, because she can get it, um, I, she's not, um, who did you say you thought she was? Oh, Dario's chick. Yeah, well that's true, but um, she's General Viper's daughter. That's why she has a little snake on her. Man. Gotcha. I gotcha. Beneath the sacred uh, beneath the sacred sword, the warriors lie. Thirteenth dragoon, Grandmaster Garai. Fourteenth. I'm just saying dragoon now because I'm not sure. Grandmaster Dario. I'm not gonna budge with that word every single time. It's not worth it. I'll drive myself crazy. Oh, if you follow the way they did, you can actually follow them. Oh, here? Yeah. Right down underneath the house. Okay. And that guy rushed and hit it as soon as I got there. It was a hilarious sight. <laughs> That's great. That's a real mermaid. Oops, I've got customers. Sorry, I'll get you some big fish next time you come by. Alright, Korcha. But is it really going to be big this time? You only ever catch small fry. Your boating skills are first class, but your fishing skills suck. Aw, oh, shut up. See ya. What's you guys? You're the tourists, right? The festival is a waste of time. My name's Korcha. I've been here from Gildo, working as a ferryman. I can take you anywhere you like with this boat. Take money, but don't worry, it's not that much. My boating skills are quite famous around here. I guarantee a comfortable ride. Then how about Viper Manor? As long as you can pay me, I'll take you wherever you want. It's just that I don't know how to get to the manor. If you want to get there, bring someone who does. I shall guide you there. 
Are you sure you can get into a place like that? Yes, trust me. All you need to do is prepare the boat. You got it, but it'll cost ya. It's gonna be a hundred G. Okay. Come on, get aboard. It's a little tight with four of us, but it'll be a short trip. Don't you worry about a thing. How do you know it's gonna be a short trip? You said you didn't know where it was. They summon a boss to kill you. Yeah, that'd be my luck, right? Hi ho, Korcha away! Go. Do this. Hey! Those guys didn't listen to me, jeez. Torch's boat. Well, so much for secrecy, right? 